We've also talked about the son of Pastor John Hagee recently, but we haven't talked about John Hagee himself. And I want to play a clip for you where John Hagee is also talking about things that are satanic. Take a listen to what he had to say about rock music. Because when the prince of darkness gets in here, he'll destroy everything in your life. The first step away from Christ is your first step toward the prince of darkness. When you reject the truth, all that's left is a lie. When you reject love, all that's left is hate. When you reject light, you have embraced darkness. When you reject fear, you have already embraced. When you reject faith, you have already embraced fear. When you reject heaven, all that's left is hell itself. When you read books about witchcraft, throw Harry Potter in that. The occult, horoscopes, Ouija boards. You're opening the gates of your mind to the prince of darkness and he will invade. And once he gets invited in, he doesn't go out until he's cast out. I've had parents explain to me, well, I let my teenager listen to rock music because that's all he'll listen to. Let me tell you, so the lyrics to real rock music is nothing more than satanic cyanide. Get it out of your house, throw it out, and burn it. It has no place in the house of the righteous. Okay, number one, who are the people who are nodding in the audience while this is going on? While, while Pastor John Hagee is talking about rock music being satanic cyanide people are nodding like he's making really really good sense but i want to i want to um call your attention to one specific thing hagee called for the taking outside of the house and burning of rock music what year is he living in is, does he think people are still listening to rock music on vinyl i mean how do you burn music that's stored in the cloud or on iTunes or Spotify. I, this, this confirms to me that these guys are living in a complete fantasy world that has that that is no longer uh, th that no longer is in any way connected to reality. If you had to burn rock like Krakatoa rock music, Lewis, how would you do it? Like, what do you burn? It would be very difficult. Basically, I, I would have to take my three hundred dollar iPod and burn that. Yeah, I guess you would have to burn uh, electrical devices. I don't even know what he's talking about. Uh, he is kind of right, though. I mean, it is a little bit satanic when you think about rock music. The first time I heard Billy Joel's song, Miami 2017, I destroyed my mom's car and took three morning after pills because it was just so satanic. And uh, I think that's the type of behavior we really need to limit. I think uh, it, you should just start listening to Jesus music, David. <laughs> I think it would improve your life uh, so much. To be honest, I, I, in the past, like when I used to have regular radio before I had satellite, I would scroll past on the radio and I would come across like a song and I was like, oh, I can kind of get into this. It's very kind of like positive music and I like it. And then I would start hearing the lyrics and realize that it was like extreme hardcore Christian rock. And I found myself saying to myself, I think I could ignore the lyrics because I really, I really like the melody here. Um, that's not a position that I'm still able to maintain at this point, sadly. No, it's, it's very hard to do that. Uh, it, in general, I can't get past really bad lyrics on, on any song. Yeah. Well, but if you listen to heavy metal and it's just growling, you can't even hear the lyrics, but I guess you just know you develop kind of like a sixth sense for it. But, uh, we'll talk to Lewis about that more on, on a different day. Let's take a break. Please join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash David Pakman show over 22,000 Facebook likes at this point heading towards 25,000. We'll take a break. A lot more is happening today. I'm glad you're with us.